ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ನಿತಿ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ದೇವಿ ಗೌರವಾಣಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾಡಿನೆ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾಗಿ ಪಾಶ್ಚಾತ್ಯ ದೇಶದ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶ್ರೀ ವಾಸದಿ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಆರಾಧ್ಯು ಭಗವಾನ್ ಬ್ರಜೇಶ ತನಯ ಶ್ರದ್ಧಾಮ ಬೃಂದಾವನ ರಮ್ಯ ಕಾಚಿತುಪಾಸನಾ ವ್ರಜ ವಧು ವರ್ಗೇನ ಬಾಕಲ್ಪಿತ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಮಮನ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಕುಮಾರ ಓ ಮಹಾ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭೋರ್ಮತಮಿದ ತತ್ರ ದಾರ ಅನಾರ್ಪಿತ ಚರಿಂಚಿರ ಕರುಣಯಾವತೀರ್ಣ ಕಲೌ ಸಮರ್ಪಯಿತು ಉನ್ನತೋಜ್ವಲರಸ ಸ್ವಭಕ್ತಿ ಶ್ರಿಯ ಹರಿಪುರಟ ಸುಂದರ ದ್ಯುತಿ ಕದಂಬ ಸಂದೀಪಿ ಸದಾ ಹೃದಯ ಕಂದರೇ ಸ್ಫುರತು ಜಯ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಜಯ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಜಯ ದ್ವೈತ ಚಂದ್ರ ಜಯ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಜಗತ್ ಮಂಗಲ ದ್ವೈತ ಮಂಗಲ ಗುಣಧಾಮ ಮಂಗಲ ಚರಿತ್ರ ಸದಾ ಮಂಗಲ ಜಾರಣ Hare Krishna, we'd like to welcome <clears throat> all of the wonderful devotees who have joined us over YouTube Live, devotees who have joined us over Facebook Live, we welcome all of you, and also the wonderful devotees who have joined us over Zoom, we welcome each and every one of you to this day session 88 of Sri Gauramrita. Before we proceed, we'd like to announce and congratulate the participants from the quiz session from day 87. We'd like to congratulate Hari Prashad Prabhu, Mother Amrita Radhika, dearest Anjudi, Vaijayanti Lalita Mataji, Meetanjali Pradhan Mataji, Meera Bhushan Mataji, Janeshwar Gauranga Prabhu, Parshana Chitra Mataji, Surya A, and Hari Krishna Maddali Prabhu, and our dearest Ranjani Gopika Mataji. Thank you all so very much for enthusiastically participating in the quiz session from day 87. So today in session 88, we will continue to describe the transcendental treasure trove of Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's devotional pastimes, how Lord Goranga performed his pastime in Sri Nilachala Dham, Sri Jagannath Puri. How Sarva Bhauma Bhattacharya made a heartfelt request to Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu. And then how Lord Gauranga Mahaprabhu visits Alarana with his beloved associates. How the devotees in Alaranath, the residents of Alaranath become devotees. And the Lord empowers everyone with his loving embrace on this journey towards South India. And then we'll conclude today's session by describing the falastuti, the benefits that one receives by listening to these transcendental pastimes of Sri Gaurahari. So in our session 87, we heard how Sri Nityananda Ram and the devotees, the associates of Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu, they gave their permission to Lord Gauranga for his South India trip and how Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu visited and stayed at the home of Sarvabhama Bhattacharya and he receives permission to go on the South India trip from Sarvabhama Bhattacharya. 
And then Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu also visits the Jagannath temple and takes blessings and permission from Lord Jagannath himself and how we discussed and concluded session 87 with the beautiful pastime, the heart-touching pastime of King Purushottam Dev and Lord Sri Jagannath. So now we will continue. Now, Sri Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami in his Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhya Leela chapter 7 text 58, he says, accompanied by his personal associates and serve of home of Atacharya, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu circumambulated the altar of Lord Jagannath. And then the Lord departed for his South India tour. While Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was departing, Sarvabhama Bhattacharya submitted at the lotus feet of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, saying, My Lord, I have one final request that I hope that you will kindly fulfill. In the town of Vidyadhara, on the bank of Godavari, there is a very responsible government officer named Ramananda Rai. Please, my request is do not neglect him, thinking that he belongs to a Shudra family engaged in materialistic activities. It is my request that you please go and meet him without fail. Ramananda Rai is a fit person to associate with you. No other devotee can compare with him in knowledge of the transcendental mellows. You know what? More than that, he is the most learned scholar, as well as an expert in devotional mellows, bhakti mellows. Actually, he's the most exalted. And if you talk to him, you will see how glorious he is. I could not realize when I first spoke with Ramananda Rai that his topics and his endeavors were all, were all transcendentally uncommon. In fact, I made fun of him simply because he was a Vaishnava. At that time, I did not understand the glories of devotional service. And then Sri Bhattacharya continued, by your mercy, now I can understand the truth about Ramananda Rai. And in talking with him, you will also acknowledge his greatness. So Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu heard very, very appreciatively and acknowledged and accepted Sarvabhama Bhattacharya's request that he meet with Sar Ramananda Rai. And then bidding farewell to Sarvabhama, the Lord embraced Sarvabhama Bhattacharya and asked Sarvabhama Bhattacharya to bless him, bless Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. While Sarvabhama Bhattacharya engaged in devotional service of Lord Krishna at home, so that by Sarvabhama's mercy, the Lord could return to Jagannath Puri. Here we see that the Lord does not have any pride because he's a sannyasi and he does not consider himself superior just because Sarvabhama Bhattacharya is a grihasta. He gives him proper respect and grihe thako, bone thako, shadahari bole thako, whether we are at home or in the forest. Always chant the holy names of the Lord and anyone who chants the holy names of the Lord, that qualification that he's, he or she is chanting is enough to glorify them and forgive everything that they may be doing against us or anything we may be offended by. Saying this, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then departed to his, on his tour and Sarvabhama Bhattacharya could not take the separation from Lord Chaitanya. He fainted and fell to the ground. So this is the beautiful reciprocation of love between the Lord and his dear devotees. That here, Sarvabhuma Bhattacharya, we can see that he is not being selfish for the Supreme Lord's mercy. He knows the position of Sarvabhuma Bhattacharya, sorry, of Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu. 
And he's not being selfish that I only want the mercy, I only want the mercy. We can see by the heartfelt request of Sri Sarvabhama Bhattacharya, he told Mahaprabhu to meet with Ramananda Roy. And we can see how wonderfully Sarvabhama Bhattacharya glorified Sri Ramananda Roy and begged the Lord to give his mercy to Ramananda Roy. This is the selfless nature of devotees. This is the heart of a Vaishnava, which actually prompted the Lord to ask the blessings of such a devotee so that the Lord could return fast back to Jagannath Puri. Such loving and deep reciprocation. So all the devotees, of course, not Sarvabhama Bhattacharya, but all the devotees headed by Sri Nityananda Ram, they followed Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu and they came to this place, beautiful little place known as Alarnat. And they all offered respects and various forms of prayers to this beautiful four-handed form of Lord Narayan. And in great ecstasy, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu danced and chanted for some time. And all the neighbors who were there around that village, they all came to see the transcendental dancing of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu. And Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu, who is also known as Gaurahari, they, he began to shout. He began to literally, his voice was trembling and he was thundering voice. He began to shout the holy names of Sri Hari, Lord Chaitanya. He was immersed in usual, in his usual love of God. And he danced in the midst of all the villagers who had now by now surrounded Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu. So Lord Chaitanya, it is described that he was looking like the moon. He is a moon. And Gaura Chandra, he was dancing amongst the stars of devotees who had surrounded him. The body of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was naturally extremely beautiful. It was like molten gold dressed in saffron cloth. Indeed, he was so beautiful. And there was no ornament physical ornament of jewelry that was decorating his body, but his body was ornamented with ecstatic symptoms. That was the ornaments that adorned the divine transcendental body of Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu. And this ornament of ecstatic symptoms, it caused the bodily hair of Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu to stand on end, tears to well up in his eyes and his body to tremble and perspire all over. Thus, Mahaprabhu was manifesting all kinds of ecstatic symptoms. Everyone who was present there was just astonished to see Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He's dancing in all of his bodily transformations the Ashta Vikar, whoever came, they did not want to return home. Everyone, including children, old men, women, they all began to dance and chant the holy names of Krishna and Gopal. And in this way, they floated in the ocean of love of Godhead. And then when they saw the chanting and dancing of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Lord Nityananda predicted, Later, there will be chanting and dancing in every village. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has predicted that Sarvatra Prachar Hoyabe Muranam, every town and village, uh, this will be, uh, my name will be ch chanted. Prithivite Ache Joto Nagaradi Gram, Sarvatra Prachar Hoyabe Muranam. This is Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has predicted this. But here we see Lord Nityananda has also predicted that there would be dancing and chanting in every village. It's just time which is separating us. It is going to happen indeed. The question is, do we want to participate in that or not? If we do not participate and take advantage of that, we will be left out when the entire world around us would be chanting and dancing and we would be thinking, oh, I wish I would have participated earlier because it is, a re it is going to happen. Only time is separating us from that reality. Seeing that it was already late, Lord Nityananda Prabhu, who is the original spiritual master, the Adi Guru, 
he invented a means to dispense the crowd because Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had to leave. And if it gets very late in the dark, it would it would become difficult for Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. When Lord Nityananda Prabhu took Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu for lunch at noon, everyone came running around them, around both the brothers. And they finished their baths. They returned at noon to the temple. Sri Nityananda Prabhu first opened the door, admitted his own men, very close associates, and then Sri Nityananda Prabhu closed the outside door. <laughs> Gopinath Acharya. He brought prasadam for the two lords, Dui Bhai, Goranitai, to eat. And after they had eaten, the remnants of the foodstuff were distributed to all the devotees without the presence of Lord Chaitanya and Nityananda. It is said we should not dis distribute the remnants of great devotees in front of them. After they have left, then we can get the Maha Mahaprasad and get the Mahabal, the great spiritual strength by honoring their Uchista, their remnants. When, when everyone heard this, this is being distributed. Everyone came outside the door and began chanting the holy name, hurry, hurry, and begging, please give us your association. And there was a tumultuous sound. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, after lunch, he made them open the door. My devotees are waiting for me. Open the door. And in this way, everyone received Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's audience with great pleasure. And people were coming and coming and coming until evening. They came and went. And all of them became Vaishnava devotees just by a glance of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And they all began chanting and dancing in ecstasy. So here a question can be asked that why? Why did Lord Nityananda close the doors and did not allow anyone other than the close associates of the Lord to come inside while the Lords were accepting Mahaprasad, while they were honoring Prasad? It is said, Srila Prabhupada explains, that sometimes Vaishnavir Kriyamudra Bigyana Buddhai, which means that the actions of a Vaishnava are sometimes not understood. They sometimes, or most of the times, could be misunderstood, misinterpreted. So when Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu and Sri Nityananda Prabhu, when they take prasads together, they actually have a lot of exchanges, loving exchanges amongst them which cannot be understood by common men. So therefore, Lord Nityananda had closed the outside doors for outside people. But as soon as their prasad was done, Mahaprabhu, out of his causeless mercy, he just opened up the doors and let everyone come in. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he passed the entire night at Alarnath and discussed the pastimes of Lord Krishna there with all the devotees. The next morning after taking his bath, Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu started on his South India tour. He bade farewell to the devotees. He said, okay, I am leaving now. I am departing. And how did he bid farewell to them? He embraced all of them. Although they all fell to the ground unconscious, the Lord did not turn around to see them, but he just proceeded by looking forward. Because Lord Gauranga knew that if he would turn back and see that his devotees have fallen down unconscious, then he would not be able to go ahead. That is the love that Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu has. You know, we were just listening to one um, lecture. It is said that, you know, Krishna has made our eyes with a specific purpose, that they are in the front of our head. We can see only things that are, are in front of us. Why? Because we should not keep turning back. We should not keep looking back. We should not be living in the past. Whatever has happened, we learn the lesson from that and move on. That is the purpose of eyes being forward, looking forward in front of our face. It is looking forward. That's why we have to always keep moving forward. 
So this is the reason why Sri Goranga Mahaprabhu, he just did not look back. But this doesn't mean that the Lord is stone-hearted or he does not have any feelings, no emotions. No, Lord Chaitanya, he was doing this for a greater good, for delivering the people of the South. He was doing this austerity that he was, you know, wanting to make more devotees, give more and more souls an opportunity to reclaim them back to the service of Krishna. So that's why he did not look behind to the devotees who were falling unconscious in separation of Sri Gaurahari. In separation, the Lord also became very much perturbed and he walked on very unhappily. His servants, if you remember, that Lord Nityananda had suggested Krishna Das. And this Krishna Das, he was carrying his water pot and started following behind Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. All the devotees, they remained there, they fasted. And next day, they very unhappily, with a heavy heart, returned to Jagannath Puri. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went on his tour like a mad lion with ecstatic love, performing Sankirtan, chanting Krishna's holy names. Krishna, 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 Krishna Krishna Pahima Rama Raghava Rama Raghava Rama Raghava Dakshama Krishna Keshava Krishna Keshava Krishna Keshava Pahima Krishna 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 Hey Krishna 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 Hey Krishna 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 Dakshama Krishna 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 Pahima this was the name. These were the names that the Lord was chanting on his way to South India. Which means, oh Lord Krishna, please protect me. Please maintain me. Raksha maam, pahi maam. He also chanted, Rama Raghava, Rama Raghava, Rama Raghava, Raksha maam. Krishna Keshava, Krishna Keshava, Krishna Keshava Pahima. O oh Lord Rama, descendant of King Raghu, please protect me. O oh Krishna, O oh Keshava, O oh killer of Keshi demon, please maintain me. Whenever we are in some difficult circumstance, if we chant these holy names, Praying to Krishna, I am yours. Please protect me. Please maintain me. O Raghupati Sri Ram, Ram Raghava, please protect me. Please, Krishna Keshava, maintain me. Krishna will definitely reciprocate. And this is the verse directly from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita. Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami quotes this in Madhya Leela chapter 7 in text 96. This is the entire verse that we sang. This is how it is there, word by word, that this is the mantra that Sri Goranga Mahaprabhu, apart from the Hare Krishna Mahamantra, Goranga Mahaprabhu would chant this particular mantra, especially when he was traveling when he was journeying on on the way Sri Goranga Mahaprabhu would chant this particular mantra in chapter 7 text 99 Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami says after some time the Lord 
would embrace these people and bid them to return home, having invested in each of their hearts with spiritual potency, just by his embrace. In fact, in the purport of this verse, Srila, Bhak Srila Prabhupada explains that Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, he explains the potency that this spiritual potency that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu invested in the hearts of these devotees with his loving embrace, that spiritual potency is the essence of pleasure potency and knowledge potency. The Ladini Shakti and the Chit Shakti. By these two potencies, one is empowered with devotional service, knowledge and spiritual pleasure. And Lord Krishna, he himself or his representative, the unalloyed devotee, they can mercifully bestow these combined potencies upon any man. And when that person is endowed with such potencies, that person can also become unalloyed devotee of the Lord. Anyone, anyone, irrespective of their qualifications, if they are favored by Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they are empowered with bhakti shakti. And, in, and therefore, the Lord's followers were able to preach Krishna consciousness by the divine grace of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So if we pray to our spiritual master, to Srila Prabhupada, to please invest in us, this spiritual potency so we can be able instruments in spreading your movement and spreading your teachings to the rest of the world. So each of these empowered men bestowed with the spiritual potency of knowledge and the pleasure potency, the Ladini Shakti and the Chit Shakti, each of these empowered personalities with empowered with this bhakti shakti bhakti shakti is the combination of these two potencies so they would return having been invested with these empowered by these bhakti shakti they would return to their own village and always they would chant the name of krishna and they would experience ecstatic emotions and such empowered persons they would request everyone whoever they would come in touch touch with whoever they would see they would request them, please chant the names of Krishna. In this way, all the villagers would also become the devotees of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So this is the way that Mahaprabhu spread the, you know, that's how he made devotees. That Mahaprabhu would touch someone, invest bhakti shakti in that person, and that person in turn would go back to his village and touch everybody in that entire village and invest bhakti shakti in them. Like this, villages after villages were transforming and they were all becoming devotees. So people from different villages who came to see such an empowered individual who was blessed by Sri Goranga Mahaprabhu, they would also become invested with the same bhakti shakti just by seeing and associating with that person and they would receive the same kind of mercy that that personality has received. And when each of these newly empowered individuals, they would return to their own village, they also transformed all the villagers into devotees. This is the magic of Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu. And when others from other villages would come to see such a personality, they would also become transferred. Thus, many hundreds and hundreds of people that just became Vaishnavas, just when the Lord was passing by these different villages, he would touch one person, an entire village would become devotee. So in whatever village Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu stayed, he accepted alms, and many, many people would come to see him. And by the mercy of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu, everyone became a first-class devotee. Later, having become a first-class devotee, they would also become spiritual teachers and masters, spiritual masters, and they liberated the entire world. 
So Sri Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, <clears throat> he's concluding this particular chapter of the Chaitanya Charitamrita by saying, Shri Rupa Raghunath Pade Pujara Chaitanya Charitamrita Pade Kohe Krishna Das Praying at the lotus feet of Sri Rupa and Sri Raghunath Das Goswami, always desiring their mercy, I, Krishna Das, narrate this Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita following in their footsteps. Hari, hari. So it is said, anyone who faithfully, very faithfully listens to this pastime, who derives joy by listening to this pastime, will indeed be blessed with Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's direct association, one who is a sincere listener and who hears these glorious pastimes will then swim in an ocean of devotional love and such a sincere listener who is trying to imbibe the mood of the Lord and the spiritual master, they'll become perfectly happy in this life and will definitely see the moon-like face of Lord Chaitanya directly. Which means Lord Chaitanya's pastimes are being performed even now and whoever is blessed by the Lord to see can see, others cannot see. So the Japa tip for today is that it is very, very important for us to chant the names of Shri Nitai Goranga, the names of Shri Panchatattva before we start chanting our Japa. The purpose for us to chant the Hare Krishna mantra is to achieve Krishna Prem. That is why we are chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. But we know that it is definitely not an easy thing. It's not a walk in the park to just achieve Krishna Prema just like that. For example, if we want to meet the president, it is a very tedious job. It's not easy at all. There will be so many obstacles that we have to cross over, like taking appointments, going to various ministries, approaching the secretaries, so on and so forth. But if, on the other hand, the president himself wants to meet with us, then the ministries, the secretaries, everyone, they will make all the arrangements. They will search out for us. Who is this person that the president wants to meet? And they will find us and the president will himself come and see us. Similarly, it is said, Nitai Gorango Voli Je John Dake Shubhimana Krishna Pray on Vishetake. He who calls out to Nitai Gauranga. Nitai Gauranga. He who, whoever calls the sublime Krishna Prema searches for such a sincere devotee. Krishna Prema personified thinks, huh? Who is calling Nitai Gauranga? Who is calling Nitai Gauranga? I let me go search out. And they search out and finds that devotee to be to invest himself or her uh, Krishna Prema into their heart. Hari Hari. So it is it is said, Shubimal Krishna Prem Onveshitake. Onvesh means anvesha. It means to search. So Krishna Prema personified comes searching for such a personality who. Nitai Gauranga Boli Jejon Dake. Whoever takes the name of Nitai and Gauranga, Krishna Prema comes searching Nitai Gauranga. for such a Nitai Gauranga. Nitai Nitai Gauranga. Gauranga. So very, very sincerely, we must call out the names of Shri Shri Panchatattva, Shri Shri Nitai Gauranga. Nitai Gauranga. Before we start chanting the Hare Krishna Mahamantra. So this was the Japa tip for today. 
And today we dedicate the chanting of the Hare Krishna Mahamantra to the family of our dearest Anjudi, for Mridvika, for Anjudi's mother, for her husband, for all the family members of dearest Anjudi. We chant for our dearest brother, and we also chant for our very dearest Krishna Sharanam Prabhu and for Mataji. Mataji, more specifically, we chant for her. We chant for AJ, Nikki, and the wonderful family of our dearest Amrita Radhika. We chant for Jamuna Ras and her wonderful family. We chant for our dear Gayatri Mataji. And we also chant and dedicate today's kirtan for our very dear Kajal's father, who is undergoing a health challenge in London. May the Supreme Lord Narsinga Dev grant protection and fearlessness to everyone. Hari, Hari. And we are very thankful for your chat messages and especially to uh, Mamata Fulare, who has commented from YouTube Live. Thank, Thank you for you joining so that. And uh, Anju Mataji, Hari Prasad Prabhu, uh, for, for your comments as well. Please, we request all of you to uh, like and subscribe to Advaita Kala Sudha YouTube channel and the Facebook page so that you can receive prior notification of all the different uh, sessions that we, are, that, that we are conducting for all of your benefit and pleasure. For our benefit <laughs> as well, most importantly. Yes. Hari, Hari. Hari. Your pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gada Shri Vasani Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Hare Hare Oh, uh -huh. 
So before we open up the lines, here are the quiz questions for today. First, who is Ramananda Rai? Second, what are the ornaments that adorn the transcendental body of Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu? Third, what is the prediction of Lord Nityananda? Fourth, why did Lord Nityananda close the doors before taking Mahaprasad with Lord Chaitanya? Fifth, what is the specific purpose of our eyes? <laughs> Sixth, how did the Lord invest his spiritual potency to everyone? Seventh, what is the falastuti of listening to these transcendental pastimes? And eighth, what is today's japa tip? Fantastic questions, dearest Ranjani Gopika. We are so grateful to you for this fantastic service that you are rendering. So grateful to you. Thank you. And uh, now let us open the lines for any questions, comments, reflections, and realizations. Hare Hare. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Mataji Prabhuji. And with Pranam. And with Pranam. Happy to. All glorious questions, Srila Prabhupada and Gurudev. Happy to see you both again. Both you are doing good, I feel. Yeah, thank you again for your nectarian for session. Your prayers. Uh, all of our prayers, Prabhuji. Uh, everyone in the group as well as all the devotees. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, no, first of all, I fainted, Prabhuji, Mataji. Why, you know? I was thinking, like, why Prabhuji and Mataji are not singing in this way? Like, the tone you ended, right? I was singing the Hare Krishna bhajan, right? So just I'm thinking, well, as you start, right? Uh, when you say the last finishing the way you sang, right? So internally, I was thinking, I didn't say anything. But you sang that one today. Today, I thought you sang both of you. <laughs> so when you say Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Mataji will overlap with you, right? Hare Krishna. And then you say Hare and then Rama, that, that I like very, very much. That's just I'm thinking instead of me, why, why Prabhuji and Mataji is not singing this tune? But you, uh, in my heart, I was there, but you revealed. <laughs> I was fainted. Oh, God. <laughs> so thank you so much, so much for that bhajan. Seriously, I enjoyed it. Seriously. Uh, tears came out. I was singing with you. I'm just walking here and there and just uh, nodding my head. <laughs> so my favorite tune. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. And today's session also, it is very wonderful, Prabhuji. Uh, like uh, we understood like so why uh, Mahaprabhu was uh, uh, left the uh, South India. Even he's not seeing back the devotee when they fell unconscious. So to give his mercy to all of the devotees that we understood. And in between the bhajan also you sang, right? That uh, uh, Krishna, Pahima, Rakshama. So that I liked very much. So they were, the, while traveling to, uh, while travel to any place, Mahaprabhu would sing that bhajan. So which we understood that one. And, uh, and reason behind for Nityananda Prabhu closing the door, right? We common man, we cannot understand the reason behind the transcendental loving exchange between them that we understood. It's it's very, very clear. And uh, I feel they turned your heart, Prabhuji and Mataji. That's why you both are down to the earth, <laughs> I feel, because you are uh, uh, giving mercy to all of us and praying for all of us, even in irrespective of your health condition. And you are praying for all of us. That It's remarkable, I can say. I, I don't have any other thing to say for that. That I'm not qualified to say that, but still I'm saying uh, keep me, Lord Narsingha, they protect you both always. And I'm keeping you both in my prayers. Good morning and evening. Thank you so much. It should be good Thank always. You surviving because of that. We are surviving because of that project. Thank, yeah, you. thank you. Thank you so much, Mataji and Prabhuji. Then with Pranam. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. We thank Mitanjali Mataji for your comments on YouTube. We are so grateful to you. And Benita, we welcome you to the session. Thank you so much for joining after so long. Your association is like a fresh uh, rain <laughs> coming and showering us with your association. Thank Please you so much. Please our obeisances to Nikhil Prabhu as well. And lots of love to Swara. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Mataji Prabhuji, Dandat Pranam. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you. I'm so sorry. I'm joining after a very long time. <laughs> Thank you for this wonderful session. It was really, and the Kirtan was so beautiful, so beautiful. 
it took a, it took me into another realm it was really very very beautiful mataji thank you so much mataji thank you benita love for you. your blessings please keep showering your blessings upon us yeah you, you are already blessed by shri prabhupad and his uh, associates but we will definitely pray yes to to fulfill your um, request and your order <laughs> <laughs> hari 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 thank you thank you hari krishna thank you so much vinita thank you hari 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 ho and thank you so much dear sanjudi we understand that you're not able to talk but still you joined the session we are so grateful to you thank you so much for sharing your heartfelt realizations with us anybody else would like to share anything hari krishna mata ji hari krishna hari krishna hari krishna mata ji mata ji how are you feeling good Hare Krishna Mataji Hare Krishna Hare Krishna I see you Can't hear you Can you hear me Can you hear me Mataji Can't hear you so well Okay Hare Krishna Yes now we can hear you oh, yes. Okay okay I I'm still having pain Mataji I still having pain uh, my x-rays uh, that MRI report came and uh, they say same thing uh, I have a compression fracture so yeah uh, yeah so I don't know what they will do but uh, I still did not talk to the doctor yet okay so, uh, yeah so we are uh, sending the letter to the doctor she did not reply yet so okay. we'll see what happens you know so i say i'm just taking some painkiller like a leave or something so okay. that is helping then okay. that uh, back belt so that's all okay yeah. and we have also sent our letter to dr narsingh dev in your name we are continuing to pray for you and your speedy thank recovery thank you so much you. for your prayers you. yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you, Lord Narsingadev, in Sri Mayapur Tham. He is very merciful. In fact, uh, Jananivas Prabhu, Pankajangri Prabhu, they say that uh, Krishna is enjoying transcendental pastimes in Vaikuntha, in the spiritual world, and we are we are chanting and praying to join him, uh, requesting him in to join him in Goloka consciousness. Uh, however, Nar. Radha and Krishna come to the material world as Narsingha Dev hmm. to protect the devotees from material difficulties. So, uh, and Ugrastanu Lord Narsingha Dev in Sri Mayapur Dham is is a is an example of that, of course, where uh, there are so many so many devotees who have miraculously got cured of these different. ailments uh, physical ailments or difficulties in their spiritual life material life uh, because he is specially manifested to help the devotees and protect the devotees so narsingha dev will definitely protect and today we chanted uh, shri chaitanya mahaprabhu krishna 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 rakshama please protect us and krishna 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 pahima so if we remember lord narsingha dev pray to him and remember krishna in this way they will definitely protect and, and miracles can happen uh, whenever krishna is pleased thank you mata ji thank you prabhu ji we always meditate on narsingha bhagwan and also that krishna krishna and we'll be chanting hare krishna all the time never uh, never forget krishna you know that's what we do. You, you are an inspiration to all of us <laughs> no prabhu ji you are all the inspiration no, your example both of no. your example is wonderful no, no. okay thank you thank you prabhu thank you mata Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Prabhuji. Thank you. Hare Krishna. There are no more questions. We can end here. 
three kinds of Vishnus. The Mahavishnu, who is on the causal ocean, on the Karuna Dakshai Vishnu, he's also called because he's on the Karuna Dak ocean, the causal ocean. From him comes uh, the Garbho Dakshai Vishnu, who goes into each universe from the Karuna Dakshai Vishnu or Mahavishnu from each of his pores, one, one universe come out. And then Mahavishnu expands as Garbhodakshai Vishnu to go inside each of these universes. And that is the Garbhodakshai Vishnu. When we say Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh, that is the Garbhodakshai Vishnu. And then from each, each universe, Garbhodakshai Vishnu expands as Shirodakshai Vishnu who is the four-handed Vishnu form, he expands into each and every atom of the universe and the space between the atoms as well. And he's personally uh, present there. So the super soul or Paramatma, he is the manifestation of uh, Krishna where he witnesses everything. He gives us the empowerment. If I want to raise my hand, I just desire but I don't know what all mechanics are going on within. What is the blood? How is the blood allowing it? How is the uh, muscles moving? I'm just desiring and it happens without my detailed knowledge of everything. So who is making that happen? It is the Paramatma within the heart who's allowing it to happen. And uh, this Paramatma, we can, we can pray. They, he witnesses everything that no one can witness, even our thought before we know about it, the Paramatma knows it and he sanctions. He's the witness, he's the sanctioner, sanctioner. So his form is a four-handed Vishnu form in the region of the heart, next to the soul. Hope, hope this answers your question, Mitanjali Mataji. Thank you so much. Okay, so we will conclude our session today. We look forward to seeing all of you tomorrow. Thank you all so much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Hare Krishna, Jamuna. Mataji, I, I bought yesterday temple and uh, just I want to show you. Like, yes, please. Yes, we can see you. Oh, Jai. Oh, Krishna. This is Radha Vrindavan. Uh, they came to my home only for 15 days uh, because one of Mataji went to uh, India. So, and mm -hmm. I have only this Gopal, small Gopal. Jai. I inherited my, this, uh, um, I Beautiful. made it. <laughs> Very beautiful, very beautiful. Hari Hari. Thank you so much for giving all of us the darshan. Yes. Thank you, Jamuna. Yeah, thank Hare, you, Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.